perspective, an important goal in our research is to assess wisdom as it is reflected in people's thoughts, judgments, and decisions. And the main purpose of the research that we propose to do in this context here is to begin to address the question of whether um, wisdom as it is reflected in a person's knowledge does have implications for this person's actual behaviors in everyday oh, life. Let me begin by introducing to you the psychological model of wisdom that underlies our work. And this is um, the so-called Berlin Wisdom Model. So according to this model, wisdom can be defined as expert knowledge about fundamental problems of the meaning and conduct of life. So to test for wisdom empirically, we conduct individual interviews with our study participants. And during these interviews, we present difficult life problems in short vignettes. And I've listed three of our vignettes here on the slide. After each vignette, um, a participant is asked to think aloud about what one could do and consider when being confronted with a problem given in the vignette. And these verbal responses are tape recorded and just transcribed. And so our panel of trained traders um, code these transcribed um, um, responses according to the five wisdom criteria that I just described to you very roughly. Um, let me now turn to the question that we would like to address, namely whether wisdom as knowledge system and as assessed by our um, model or paradigm does have implications for how a person interacts with others and especially how a person handles social conflict. So generally speaking, um, Bias information processing and an inability to really balance different particular interests have been considered as factors that make successful conflict management less likely. And in our proposed research, we argue that um, wisdom related knowledge facilitates um, successful conflict management, particularly for two reasons. First of all, at least according to our psychological model of wisdom, wisdom facilitates a holistic um, mode of information processing. So and second, wisdom like involves the insight that individual and collective well-being are tied together. And from a psychological perspective, it would be naive to ignore that um, our actions, what we do in everyday life, is often not consistent with, with what we know is best for ourselves or for others. And um, in our research, in the proposed research, we um, would like to investigate just such one factor that makes the application of wisdom as knowledge in everyday life more difficult. And that's high personal involvement in a social conflict as, for example, or not for example as indicated by high self-interest or partisanship. So the, the idea or the hypothesis is that um, People who have high self-interest or are partisan will be less successful at applying their wisdom-related knowledge to conflict management. And we would also like to begin to, um, to address the question of whether applying one's wisdom-related knowledge is a process that requires experience and practice. And because we accumulate life experience as we age, we predict that older people will be more successful at applying their wisdom-related knowledge to a given social conflict than young adults are. Of course, we think that applying one's wisdom-related knowledge to real-life problems is not by no means trivial. It requires experience and um, practice, and probably it requires the absence of pressure to pursue particular rather than collective interests. And one could discuss whether this um, is kind of a luxury that we often do not have in everyday life. Thank you. <laughs>